Today I'm going to show you how to build your own gym in Minecraft. And this gym is packed with loads of different things including some bikes, some treadmills, some rowing machines and some weights etc. And as always if you do enjoy this tutorial I'd really appreciate it if you give that like button a little smash as it does help me out that little bit more. But with all that said, let's get building. Here are all the materials that you will need for this build. And the plot of land you will need is 22 by 29 blocks. So first up, just moving to the bottom left hand corner here, I'm going to grab myself some grey concrete. And then starting from this block, I'm just going to place one there and then another one next to that. And then I'm just going to extend this up so it's five blocks high in total. So you should have one pillar just there. And the next up, I'm going to grab myself some smooth quartz. And then from this point, I'm going to leave a gap of three and then place one. Another gap of three, place another one. Another gap of three, place another one. Another gap of three, and then another gap of three, and then I'm going to leave one final gap of three on the end there. But then this time with some grey concrete, I'm going to place two just on the end there. And then firstly, I'm just going to build this up so it's five blocks high in total. And then I'm also going to extend these points up as well, so they're five blocks high. And then just moving around to the right hand side here with some more grey concrete. I'm just going to extend this by one across just there. And then I'm going to leave another gap of three. And I'm going to build up another five with my smooth quartz just there. And then I'm going to leave another gap of three. And then I'm going to place another pillar of grey concrete going up just to there. And then after that, moving back to the grey concrete. From this point, I'm just going to build all the way across. Just until I meet the, with the kind of inner corner of our guide here. So approximately that is pretty much 10 blocks across. Just like I can do maths. Yes, 10 blocks across. And then going around, I'm just going to extend this. It's all the way across. So it's the same length as that side over there. So I'm just going to build this across to I meet this corner here. And then coming back around, I'm just going to build this across to meet up with the wall just there. And then I'm just going to build up this bit that we've marked out just so it's level with everything else. And the next up, I'm now going to grab myself some light grey concrete this time. And this is going to be for the whole floor area here. So firstly, I'm just going to fill in the gaps between each of the windows. Just before I fill in the whole of this area here. So with the floor all done, I can now start filling in some of our bottom windows. So for that, I'm going to need some black stain glass panes. So if I just come around to this right hand side here with these two windows, I'm just going to firstly fill these in. And then moving back to the front, I'm just going to fill in the first four, leaving those two on the end for where our doors will go. And then once they're all filled up for our doors, I'm just going to place one glass pane on either side. Just there. And then after that, I'm going to grab myself some deep slate tile walls. And I'm just going to place one on top of each pane. And then moving back to the black stained glass panes, I'm going to place three on top of each one. Just to level off with the rest of our walls. Just there. So now with our first floor done, we can now move on to the second floor. So firstly for that, I'm going to move back to my light grey concrete. And firstly, I'm just going to build all the way around just on top of the wall that we've just made. So I'm just going to go all the way around topping it off. And then once that's done, I'm just going to fill in this whole area here. So you should end up with something like this. And next up, I'm now going to grab myself some cyan concrete. And then I'm just going to go all the way around this kind of top level that we just built. So I'm just going to place this going all the way around. So we're pretty much just going in like a big loop. And then moving back to the left hand side, from this point, I'm going to build across seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just there. And then from this point, I'm kind of just going to follow this to the other side, place another one there, 
and then build across so we've got another wall that is seven in total and then i'm just going to join these two points up and then from this point i'm going to build up another five blocks just there and then and that is pretty much what i'm going to extend this whole wall by so i'm just going to build each bit up by five blocks all the way around so that should give you something like this and then sticking with our cyan concrete just kind of using this outer edge that we built going all the way around firstly i'm just going to place one block just there and i'm just going to use this as a guide so i'm pretty much mirroring what we've done on the bottom on the top so as soon as i get to kind of like this bit make sure i'm aligning with that point okay but we're good then i can just build around just until I meet up just there. So by doing that, that will give us space where we can add our big window there. So for this window, moving back to the black stained glass panes, I'm just gonna fill in this entire area with all of the glass panes. So by filling it in with all the glass, that will give us a nice large window here. So next up for the gym logo here, and this is pretty much going to look like a man running, which I thought was quite a cool thing to add to this gym. So for that, you're firstly going to need a smooth quartz stair. And then just starting from this block just there, so two up and then three across, I'm just going to place one upside down smooth quartz just there. And then on top of that, I'm going to grab myself a smooth quartz slab and just place one just there and then moving back to a smooth court stair i'm then going to place one on this block facing the other direction just there and i'm also going to place another one just going diagonally down by one just there and on top of this block i'm now going to grab myself some more just normal smooth quartz i'm going to place one on top just there and that's going to be followed by a, another slab and then with a smooth court stair i'm going to place another one just on the left hand side just there for his kind of like left arm. And then I'm going to place another smooth court stair just on this block just there. So it should be level with the full one just there. And then finally for a head with some more smooth quartz, I'm just going to place one on top there. And then as you can see, it creates some sort of running person. And then just move into the smooth quartz slabs. From this point, I'm just going to place one and then another one there. And then going half a block under, I'm going to place three. And I'm just going to alternate this pattern. So again, just doing that once more. And then finally, I'm just going to place two to finish it off just there. And what I like about this, it kind of makes the person look like he's running a little bit more, adds a bit of speed. But I think it's quite a nice element to add there. And then if I just go to the other side... Firstly, well, from this point here, I'm going to place another seven, just so there's one block out kind of here. And then leaving a half block gap, going back, I'm going to place eight. And then I'm just going to alternate this. So again, another seven, another eight. And then finally, another seven, just to finish it off on the top there. So next up for the roof. So moving back to the grey concrete firstly. From this point I'm just going to place one. And then just go up by one more. Just to start it off. And then firstly I'm just going to build going all the way around in a loop. So you should end up with something like this. And then just moving to one of the shorter sides. So if I go over to his left hand side. From this point I'm going to leave a gap of two. And then I'm going to place two grey concrete. And then I'm just going to keep repeating this. Just until I have a gap of two on the end, just there. And then I'm just going to extend each of these points all the way to the other side. So you should end up with something like this. And now just focusing on the longer ends. So if I come to the back here, sticking with our grey concrete, I'm firstly going to leave a gap of four. And then I'm going to place three just there. And then extend this again. And then another gap of four. 
and then another two by three square, another gap of four, another two by three square, just there. So I'm pretty much just going to repeat this for the rest of these four rows. And the next up, just to fill in each of these rectangles with some smooth quartz slabs, I'm just going to place two on either side. And then in the middle there, I'm going to grab myself some black stained glass. I'm just going to place four in the middle just there. So I'm pretty much going to do that for every window here. And then by doing that, you should end up with something like this. And then just before I move on to the inside, let's just finish off some of the outside. So firstly, I'm going to grab myself some smooth stone. And just where this border is, I'm just going to replace all of this, going all the way around. And then I'm just going to go around it once more, so it should be too thick all the way around in total. And then once all the smooth stone has been placed, I'm also going to grab myself some oak leaves, just for some nice outside bushes. So maybe just from this point here, I'm just going to build all the way across just until I reach this point here. So it should be 11 across in total. And I'm moving to the right hand side. From this point, I'm going to go across another one. So it should be a block away. And I'm just going to build across until I'm one block away from the end just there as well. So that is pretty much all of the exterior complete, which means we can now move on to the interior. And the first thing I need to do is add some walls inside here. Firstly, for our entrance area, I'm going to grab myself some cyan concrete. And then just coming to this block here, I'm going to build across 13 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 just there. And I'm just going to build this up going all the way across. And then moving to the left-hand side, I'm going to place another two concrete just there. Just going to build that up. And then... Coming to the other side, I'm going to place a row of three and then extend that up to the ceiling as well. Just there. And that'll be the entrance for our gym. And then just coming around here, from this point, I'm going to place another six blocks. Just there, so there should be two blocks away from the wall there. And I'm just going to build this up as well. But before I start building anything else, I need to light this place up. So for that, I'm going to grab myself some soul lanterns just there. So for our front desk area firstly, using this post as a guide, I'm going to go across and then when I line up with the first one, place one lantern, then I'm going to leave a gap of three and then place another one just there with the lights in this section. And then staying on this same kind of line, I'm just going to guide this across until I line up with that pillar, place another light, another gap of three and then eight, another lantern just there. And then I'm going to leave a gap of three in between each of these lanterns. And I'm just going to place another three going across. And then coming into this little corridor, just here, this little back area, I'm going to place one just kind of where the door is. And then I'm going to leave a gap of three in between each of them as I place another three just there to give us a nice row of four there. And then as I go around here, moving back to the cyan concrete, I'm firstly going to build across three just there. Then I'm going to leave a gap of two, place one, another gap of two, and I'm going to then place four just on the end there. I'm just going to build each of these points up all the way to the ceiling just there. And this is going to be where our changing rooms are going to go. And then after that, I'm going to grab myself some smooth quartz. And then just from this pillar here, I'm just going to place five smooth quartz there. And I'm just going to build this up to the top. And I'm also going to line the back wall of this other room with some more smooth quartz as well. Just covering that wall just there. So I've pretty much got the main room divisions done now. But now I need to add some stairs to get up to the second floor. So for these stairs, I'm going to grab myself a quartz slab to begin with. And then starting from this block, I'm just going to place three coming out just there. And then going up one and across by another one, I'm then going to do the same thing. I'm just going to keep repeating this until I reach the ceiling just there. And then just looking up to the ceiling here, I'm just going to go across these two blocks, but then on this third block, I'm just going to destroy three just there. And then just moving up top, I'm just going to keep destroying this just until this top stair is now visible. 
And then after that, I'm just going to replace this top row with some more quartz slabs just there. And then on top of each of these slabs, I'm then going to grab myself some grey carpet. I'm just going to place three grey carpet on top of each of them. Just there. And that will create our staircase for upstairs there. And while I'm up here, I'm just going to light this place up as well. So going back to our soil lanterns, if I just start in this bottom left-hand corner here, and firstly, just on this block here, I'm going to place one lantern just there. Then I'm going to leave a gap of six, place another one, another gap of six, and then place another one just there. And from this point, I'm then going to leave a gap of four, and then I'm going to place another one just there. And then another gap of four, another one, one final gap of four, and then one more on the end there. I'm just going to repeat that eight another two times. So again, leaving that same gap of four, just placing these lanterns in rows. Just to end up with some nice lights like this. So now with all the main walls and lights put in, we can now actually start decorating this gym. So first up for the front desk area and for that it wouldn't be like a chips build without adding some nice plants so for that i'm gonna grab myself some spruce leaves and then first i'm gonna place one cauldron on the left hand side one on the right and then one on the right again in that corner there and then i'm just gonna place two spruce leaves on top of each cauldron just to there and then for our main desk i'm gonna grab myself some quartz stairs and then Starting from this block here, I'm just going to build across. I'm going to place one first, leave a gap, and then, and then I'm going to place two just there. And I'm just going around, I'm then going to place another six just there. And then turning around, I'm then going to place another two, leaving a gap, and then one more on the end there. And then after that, I'm then going to grab myself some grey carpet. And first I'm going to place one grey carpet on the back court stairs just there. And then I'm going to place three on each of the corners. And then I'm going to leave two gaps and then just place two in the middle there. And then in these gaps, this is where I'm going to add some sort of iPad design. And for this, very simple, I'm just going to grab myself an item frame. Just place that on top of each port stair. And then for a screen, I think a nice glass pane works for that. So I'm just going to get a cyan glass pane and just place that inside just there. And then for some cabinets at the back, I'm just going to grab myself a white shulker box. And I'm just going to place two rows of six just there. And then for a little shelf design as well, I'm also going to grab myself another quartz slab. And then from this block, I'm going to go across three. Then I'm going to go up half a block, place another one, place one more on either side just there. So that pretty much gives us our main desk. And then if I move to the left hand side here on this little wall, I'm now going to add myself a water dispenser. So for that firstly, I'm going to grab myself a dropper. And I'm just going to place one just there. And then on top of that, if I grab myself some blue stained glass, let's just place one on top just there. And then I'm also going to grab myself a iron chap door and place that on top as well. And then on that glass, I'm just going to place another item frame. And then in that item frame, I'm just going to add myself a water bottle just there. And then to make this actually work, firstly, I'm just going to stock up my dropper with some water there. And then if I grab myself a button, I'm just going to place one on the side there. And that will give me a nice little working water dispenser just there. And I'm just going to mirror that on the other side of the wall here. And then for some chairs here as well, I'm going to grab myself some more quartz slabs. I'm going to place one of these just in front of each of the tablets here. And then I'm also going to grab myself an iron door. So I'm going to place one of them behind each slab. And then with a banner, I'm going to grab myself a cyan banner. I'm just going to place one of those in front of each of the doors just there. So now it's time to start work on the actual gym. And first up, I'm going to show you a treadmill design. So for that, firstly, I'm going to grab myself some deep slate tiles just here. And then firstly, just starting from this block, I'm just going to place one there, even a gap, then place a, another one just there. And then just in between, I'm going to grab myself an iron trap door and place one there. And then 
with some more quartz slabs. I'm going to place one on top of each deep state toll just there. And then in the middle, I'm going to grab myself a quartz stair. And I'm just going to put that in between there. And then after that, I'm going to grab myself some deep slate tiles stairs. And I'm just going to place one on either side. And then I'm also going to grab myself some deep slate slabs. And then I'm just going to place two coming out of each stair just there. And then I'm just going to destroy the three blocks in the middle. And I'm going to replace that with some grey concrete powder. Just there. And then finally, just for some handbars, I'm going to grab myself an end rod. I'm just going to place one on each slab just there. So I'm pretty much going to repeat this design eight another four times. So just to mark it out, I'm going to leave a gap and then the next one will start there. But then I'm actually going to leave a gap of two in between here. And then this time another two, leave a gap and then another two there. So hopefully by doing this, you can see where I'm going to place each of them just there. So by doing that, you should end up with something that looks like this. And also, if you find you want a little bit more light in here, what you can do, you can just give yourself a light block. Just there. And then I can always dot these around the edges. And that can just brighten up our building up a little bit more. So next up, I'm also going to add myself another water dispenser on this side here. So just on this block, I'm going to do the exact same thing that we've done before. So another dropper on there. And then some more blue stained glass with an iron chap door just there. With another iron frame. Let's make sure we grab our water bottle as well. And of course, let's make sure it's stocked up. And then just another button on the side there. And the next to that, I'm also going to add myself a little bench. So for that, I'm going to grab myself a quartz stair and a quartz slab. Along with some light blue carpet. And then leaving a gap of one, I'm going to place one quartz stair there. Two slabs and then one quartz stair just on the end there. And on top, I'm just going to place four blue carpet just there for a nice little bench. And then just coming to this corridor, I'm actually going to add myself a little door now. So for that, I'm going to grab myself some black stained glass panes and also a deep slate tile wall. And first, I'm just going to place one just there, one deep slate tile wall, and then another three panes just on top to there. And I'm moving back to this entrance here. I'm now going to add myself a little rug as well. So for that, I'm going to grab myself some cyan carpet and also some white carpet. And then starting here, I'm going to go across three blocks. And then on that fourth block, I'm going to place one cyan carpet just there. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to place a, another two. And then just one going down there. And from this point, I'm going to go down two. And then on the third place, a, another cyan carpet. One more under that. And then two more going across there. And then with the white carpet, I'm just going to fill in the rest to form a square. And that creates a nice cool pattern, a nice cool kind of like rug. So for that, I'm going to grab myself some deep slate tiles. And I'm just going to place four in between the doorway there. And then I'm going to grab myself some black stained glass and another deep slate tile wall. And first, I'm going to place one pane on either side, topped off with a deep slate tile wall. And then just three more black stained glass panes on either side just there. And for a bit of extra decoration, I'm now going to add some nice pictures and stuff on the walls. So firstly, I'm going to add a nice big picture just here. So for that, I'm going to grab myself just a painting here. And then using this light as kind of like a starting point, I'm going to go up by one and then across by another one. And then down, which should lead you to that block. And then pretty much on that block, I'm just going to place two blocks kind of next to it from that block. Going across four and then another two. And I'm just going to round this all off. And this is just so we can guide the painting in. And then if I just place the painting in there, that's the one we want. We get the fighting one, which I think works quite nice. And then alongside that painting, I'm now going to add some more pictures on top of each of these treadmills here. And for that, I'm going to create some dumbbell banners. So firstly, for this banner, I'm going to grab myself a cyan banner just there. And I'm also going to grab myself some black dye. Some light grey dye. And some more cyan just there. 
And then firstly, I'm going to put the Zion banner in. And then firstly, with some light grey, I'm just going to do one line kind of in the middle, just like this. And then moving to the black die, I'm then going to do one top side, like one top line just there. And then one bottom line. And then just to finish that off, I'm just going to do a nice cyan border going around it, just there. And then if I just come inside here, I can just place one of these banners on top of each treadmill. Just there. And then I'm also going to add this banner outside as well. So just in this block, I'm going to place mine diagonally just there. And I'm also going to place some of these upstairs as well. So just looking at this cyan back wall, starting from this block here, so floor box up. Four blocks up. I'm just going to go across three blocks and on that third block, I'm going to place our first banner just there. Then I'm going to leave a gap of four, place another one, another gap of four, place another one, then one final gap of four, and just place one more on the end there. So now it's time to add some more machines in this main upstairs area. But first thing, I'm just going to add a banister around these stairs. So for that first thing, I'm just going to grab myself a deep slate tile wall. I'm just going to place one of these on top of each top kind of stair just there. And then I'm also going to grab myself a black stained glass pane. And I'm just going to go all the way around like this. Just there. So now we can start making our first machine. And that first machine is going to be some cycling machines. So firstly, as I come up the stairs here, I'm just going to go all the way around up to this top corner here. And firstly, I'm just going to grab myself a smooth stone slab. And then just from this point just here, I'm going to go across four blocks and then up by three. And on that third block, I'm going to destroy that and replace that with a stone slab. And after that, I'm going to grab myself some deep slate tiles. And I'm just going to place one just there. And then either side of that, I'm going to grab myself a tripwire hook. I'm just going to place one on each side just there. And then just in front, I'm going to grab myself a deep slate tile wall. Place one of them just there. And on top, I'm going to grab myself a grindstone. And then firstly, I'm just going to place one block above this wall here. And then with this grindstone, I'm just going to place one so it's facing this kind of direction there for some light candles. And the next up for a seat here. So for that, I'm going to grab myself a armor stand. I'm just going to place one on top of that slab there. And then I'm next going to grab myself a neverite helmet. I'm just going to place one on top of that armor stand just there. And then just to the right hand side, I'm then going to place a deep slate wall just there. But then with a piston and a redstone block, I'm going to place one piston just behind it. One redstone block, push that in and that will create a nice little bike seat just there. And that will give us our bike design. I'm just going to repeat that another two more times. So firstly, just using that kind of slab as our marking, I'm just going to go across three blocks and then destroy that one and then replace that with a stone slab and then go across another three and replace that with another stone slab just there. So pretty much just marking out where the other bikes are going to go. And then also from this point, if I just go all the way across to the other side and then if I count and then when I reach here, I'm going to count across three blocks, but then on that fourth block, destroy that, replace that with another stone slab and then leaving a gap of three, place another one, another gap of three, place another one just there. So pretty much, I'm just going to repeat this design another five more times. So for these two, I'm just going to do this in the exact same way, in the same direction, just there. But then on the other side, I'm just going to mirror this same thing on this side. So it should be mirrored. I'll show you what I mean when it's done. But by doing this, you should end up with six bikes. So as you can see, I've got three facing the window there and another three facing this window over there. So for the next set of machines, I'm now going to make myself a rowing machine. So for that first thing, I'm just going to grab myself some more deep state tiles. And then from this point, I'm going to leave a gap of three. And on that fourth block and then going one up, I'm going to place one deep state tile just there. And then I'm going to place another three, just leaving a gap in between them. So for the treadmill design, firstly, I'm going to grab myself a lever. And I'm just going to place one on top of the deep slate tiles just there. And then just in front, I'm going to get a grindstone and place one just there and then after that i'm then going to grab myself a sticky piston and i'm just going to place one in front of the block just there and then i'm also going to grab myself a cauldron and i'm just going to 
place that next to that. And then I'm also going to grab myself a grey carpet. I'm just going to top the piston off with that. And then I'm going to leave a gap. Then I'm going to place one deep state tile wall there. And then a grey carpet on top there. And that will give us our roaming machine design. And this actually works. So if I quickly just get in the cauldron. And then if I just press this lever. It kind of looks like you're rowing. So I'm pretty much just going to repeat this design another three times. We should end up with something that looks like this. Oh, I just broke it. And the next up, I'm now going to add myself my first kind of like weight kind of stretch area. So for that, I'm going to add some mats and some dumbbells. So firstly, for the mats, I'm going to grab myself a cyan carpet. And then just on this point, I'm going to go across four blocks. But then on the fifth block, I'm going to place one carpet just there. And then I'm going to place one just below that and then extend this down by another two blocks. And then leaving a gap of one, and then going to repeat that just there. And then repeating it, another one just on top, just there. And the next up for some dumbbells. So for that, I'm going to grab myself a wither skull and some more end rods just there. And then firstly, I'm just going to, on this block, I'm going to place one deep set tile just there. And then I'm just going to place an end rod coming out of that. And then I'm just going to destroy that block. And then, and then I'm just going to place a wither skeleton skull just on each side there. And that gives you a nice dumbbell design. And then I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, from this point, I'm going to place one deep tail tile there with an ender rod coming out. Just drawing that block and then one wither skull on either side. I'm just going to mirror this on the other side as well. And that'll give us some nice sets of dumbbells. And next up for our final machines, which are going to be some more weight machines. And just a quick disclaimer, you don't actually need this fourth one. So I'm just going to destroy that. So for this first weight machine, I'm firstly going to grab myself some deep slate stairs. Deep slate tile ones. And from this point, I'm just going to go up by three and then just place one just there. And then going to the other side, leaving a gap, place another stair just there. And then I'm just going to leave a gap of two and then place another two stairs just there. And then in between these stairs, I'm going to place some more deep slate tile walls. So I'm just going to place two just in between those stairs just there. And then I'm also going to grab myself some iron bars. And firstly, I'm just going to place one on either side and then just joining them up just there. And then on top of these walls, I'm then going to place another two iron bars just there. And in front, I'm going to grab myself some black wall. And then I'm just going to place one in front on each side just there. And then I'm also going to grab myself some tripwire hooks. And these are going to be for the handles that you pull kind of weights with. So I'm just going to put them on each side. And I'm moving back to the deep state tile stairs. I'm then going to place one on top of each black wall. And then I'm also going to grab myself a deep slate tile block and just place that behind each of the stairs. And then just one more stair behind those. And just to finish them off, I'm then going to grab myself an iron trap door and just place two above that gap just there. And that will complete our weight machine. So I'm pretty much going to do the same thing on this other side. So, so pretty much from here, if I just go all the way to the other side, and then if I just stay one block from the wall, I'm going to place another stair. And then another two lots. Just there, leaving that gap of two. And yeah, just doing the same thing that we've done over there. And then for our final weight sections, I'm just going to add a bench, which you kind of pull your weights up from. So for that, from this point, I'm going to leave a gap of one. I'm just going to place one deep state tile wall there. Leaving a gap and then another one. And then I'm going to leave a gap of two and then place another two on that side as well. And then with some iron bars, I'm going to place one of these on top of each wall just there. And then I'm going to place one black wall on top of each iron bar. And then in between, I'm going to grab myself an end rod and just place them just there. So as you can see, they look like some pretty heavy weights. 
And then moving to the deep state tile stairs, I'm going to place one upside down one in between there. Same on this side. And then I'm going to grab myself a deep state tile slab. And I'm just going to place two coming out of each stair. And then on the end, I'm just going to place one deep state tile stair. Just there. And then just to finish it off, I'm going to grab myself some grey carpet and just place four on top of each kind of bench just there. And then just to finish up our upstairs area, coming to where the stairs are, I'm going to go up by two. And then across by one, up by one, place one cyan carpet just there. Making that three across and then just extending that by a, another row just there. I'm going to leave a gap of one and repeat that again. Now just add another two mats just there. So our gym is nearly done. The last thing we need to do is add the changing rooms downstairs. So for each of these rooms, firstly, I'm just going to grab myself some grey shulker boxes. Or some lockers. I'm just going to place three rows of five just along each of the back walls in each room. And then I'm also going to grab myself some birch slabs. And then firstly, on the right hand room, I'm just going to place three, leave a gap, and then eight, another three there. I'm just going to mirror that in this room as well. And then just to light up these rooms, I'm going to grab myself eight, another soul lantern. And I'm just going to place one in the middle of each room, just there. And then finally, these changing rooms need some doors as well. So I'm going to grab myself some more black stained glass. And then I'm just going to place one there, leave a gap, three, and then mirror that on this side as well. And then in between these gaps, with a deep set tile wall, place one just in between there for some handles. And there we have it. That is our changing rooms done, which means our gym is officially complete. So I hope you guys did enjoy this build tutorial. And if you did enjoy it, I'd really appreciate it if you give that like button a little smash and it does help me out. And also, if you want to hang out with me, I have got a Discord link, which I will put in the description as well. But yeah, so thanks for watching and have a good day. Time to row.